Hey everyone, it is Montana Rock Mom, and today is actually the first day post spring melt that I'm actually getting to, to search or rock hound the gravels of the Yellowstone River, and it's August! The level of the river is finally down enough where I can make um, a pretty good risk assessment, we'll put it like that, of crossing the water and getting to some gravel bars. I think that my goal today is going to be to collect rocks that look like more specimen quality to where I don't have to cut them or tumble them or do anything to them and they're gonna look beautiful on my shelf because sometimes a rough rock well when it's beautiful it just says it all you don't need to do a single thing to it so come along and see if we can find some of those so the river is still not down low enough where I need it to be so kind of have to do in a little kind of having to do a little bit of hiking along it to maybe get to some gravel bars out there and that is why a lot of times I don't have like a wagon with me or another way to store some of my rocks or take more make it a little bit easier than hiking with 50 pounds on my back but as you can see this is already treacherous enough with out any weight on it. This looks like really old horseshoes. Stuff. That is a nice piece of driftwood. <laughs> Just a little bit of water. It's not too bad here. How deep is that chopper? I always make him go first because then I can see how deep it is on him. Go. Just glad it's not going super fast right here. Did rain a couple inches so it's quite stirred up and muddy. Okay this looks like something that I would not need to cut. It has beautiful vibrant colors. It would clean up some soap and water and be a beautiful jasper. To display. So a couple weeks ago I was, I was hiking with Chopper and we were going to this this creek bed. I was going to do some rock hounding and the grass was so tall, there wasn't a trail. It was like to my chest. And there were a lot of these garner snakes, which they're not they're not poisonous, but they're they're still a snake that I'm not a big fan of. So I made Chopper go first. I was like, Chopper, go! So he could clear all the snakes out of the way. Well, he was really excited. And he ran smack into a sleeping bear in the grass. <laughs> I heard him smack into it. I heard the bear heard him. He came running out full speed. Luckily I was kind of far behind him. He came full speed out of the grass with the bear going full speed out of the grass. <laughs> and my heart rate like hit unprecedented numbers. So I said, stop. And they both stopped and looked at me because the bear didn't know I was there. And we had a little standoff. I uh, came, did, did a few false charges, but Chopper was good. He kept himself in between me and the bear. And eventually uh, it, 
it went off and um, uh, then I realized it had two cubs <laughs> after uh, when Bear went one way and the little blonde cubs went the other way. So i um, thinking their mom was kind of deterring Chopper from the babies, but uh, it was a little scary and I think, I don't think Chopper will forget what a bear is from now on. Looks like an agate here with quartz pocket and some lovely color. Great size. And I see a couple things. I'm liking this Jasper Chalcedony. And this agate, although it's not super colorful, it does have some banding and uh, character so I feel like it's one you could leave just as is let's rinse that off um, this is something you'd have to cut tumble so we're not going to look at that but let's look at this one this one's really hard because without the sun out, I mean, I do see banding. I am not sure on this one. This might not be one I would keep. Okay, small, but just the same specimen. No need to cut. Just set it up where some light can hit that. It'll look beautiful. We're getting a little bit of sprinkles here, but that's okay. It's just gonna help us see things better. Oh, here it comes again. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is beauty. Not like I need to rinse this off, but I'm going to rinse it off. I mean, the rain eventually will, but it is waterproof. Oh, look at the pocket on that. Okay, I need to put my phone up just in case it's not waterproof. Okay, it's cold, but it's not, it's not like frigid, freezing cold. Okay, well, ooh, that's a water line. Actually, it is kind of, it is kind of cold. Yeah, bud. Saw this really, really warm jacket in the store yesterday. I wanted it so bad. I should have bought it. I'm really kicking myself for not buying that. Man. So got caught in a little bit of a rain shower here and it's nice because it cleans the rocks off, but at the same time, it makes the river a little bit harder to cross on the way back. So I am going to start heading back, but I'll keep my eyes open along the way. Okay, so that was a delay of game. Gotta go out another day today. 
It was just so cold, way too cold for an August day on the river. Today is completely opposite, looks sunny, about 90, 95 degrees. So we're gonna go give it another try and see if we can collect some beauties for the shelf. So come along. So we still have a lot of river that needs to go down. Gonna have to cross right here. Okay, this is gonna be cold because it's still about 60 degrees right now. But let's do it. Ah, da. Okay, lead the way, Chop. Go ahead. I just sprayed this one off. It's really dirty, but it was really pretty. I love the dark contrast against the banding. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty. I can tell this has great, great banding and great color, even with it. Really dirty. Oh. Okay, this needs nothing. It can, once it's all cleaned off, it can for sure be displayed. It's a little limb cast. Or a petrified twig. Look at that. See that green in there? This is very river tumbled, so smooth. Oh, let's spray this off. Very pretty. I see two outrageous things in the water right here as I'm filling up my, my water bottle. It's petrified wood, but check out this jasper. What? Look at this. Look how intense these colors are. Ah. Really incredible jasper. Don't have to cut this. Stick it on the shelf. This is a jasper specimen. Wow. Incredible. Very large piece of petrified wood that looks really 
like real wood. I love the green in it. Okay, I think I just sprayed off an unbelievable agate. We gotta wash it off though, it's really dirty. Really hard to see right now. So hold on a second. Okay, let's take a look as I see some eye popping color here. This is one for the shelf. Gorgeous. Hey, we are going to wash this off. Looks agony. Ah, look at all those. It's like it has some green little circles in there and some agony, ooh, agony areas. Wow, I think this is a piece of agatized wood. I see some banding on here. Some dendrites. Some color. Really nice. Really nice agatized wood. like dendrites. You've got to admit, this is pretty. Okay, we're gonna just wash this off because it looks like it has a lot of potential, but it's very dirty. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is, looks like petrified wood. Look at the green and the colors. Gosh. Stunning. some plant material or roots. It's kind of hard to tell. The sun's pretty bright, but very beautiful. Ooh. That's nice. That is some intense fortification banding. Oh, so pretty. All over this guy. Sweet. That's a sweet find. Can't tell if this, this would be something that's more of a cutter because it doesn't have a great window into it. So yeah, this looks like it would be more of, of something it would, I would cut 
You see the, the coloring and dendrites inside. Looks like fossilized coral. Oh yeah. It's like a horn coral in there. That's pretty neat. Looks like another jasper with a multi-color pattern going on. A little dirty, but actually once this is cleaned off, I think it's going to be really nice. Another really pretty jasper here. Some bright coloring. And some chalcedony running through to add to the pattern. <sighs> really? Yeah, that's for my rocks, bud. This one is very different. Interesting. Fantastic. Colorful. Petrified wood. is Jasper little zebra shirt This looks like Jasper Eyes Coral. Oh. This is a Jasper kind of quartz mixed in here. Some great Great patterns in there. Looks kind of spongy. Can't tell if this is wood or agate. Agatized wood or Montana agate, dendritic agate, I should say. Really still can't. Oh, nope, that's Montana agate. Oh, yeah. Look at the window into that. Gorgeous, jimmy piece. Let's see some bots. 
and some dendrites. In the water. Looks like we got a scenic agate going on. Oh my goodness. Look at that green, multicolored jasper. Wow. That is a stunning rock. That is one for the shelf. Maybe palm wood? Yeah, I think this is agatized palm wood. Oh, it's gorgeous. Very large chunk. Wow, that is nice. That is nice agatized piece. This looks very agaty. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. The waves of banding and that looks like some orbicular pattern. Nice find. I can see what looks like fortification banding on here. Oh. Oh, yes. Beautiful blues. Mixed in with that quartz, quartz center around the agate. All right. Let's see what else we have going on. This one. This one might be a cutter. I'm not really seeing a window into it. This looks like, I am not sure if that is a quartz pocket around something agony. Or not, so spray it off. That is 
very weird. It's, I mean, it, it's agony. Not quite sure what that is though. Okay, I'm spraying this off and my mind is blown. This is a specimen. I could never cut that. Are you kidding me? Okay, I can't, it's a little bit too dirty on that that end but it's just it really has some some beautiful fortification banding and color it would sit so nicely and on a shelf so nicely cooling off in the river chopper and I are gonna start packing it in because it's been a full day out in the heat with some great finds. I think I can sleep well tonight with a big smile on my face. So thank you for coming along. We'll see you on the next one. Rock on.